This is the simplified avian female reproductive system. We have the oocytes, infundibulum, magnum, isthmus, uterus, vagina, cloaca, and vent. Overall, the tract comprises of a pair of ovaries and oviducts leading to the cloaca. The term oviduct is the anatomic term used to describe the complete tubular genitalia of the avian female. It is highly coiled and extends from the ovary to the cloaca. In the sexually matured chicken, it can be straightened out to a length of 70 to 80 centimeters. With few exceptions, among the domestic species of birds, only the left ovary and oviduct reach functional development. This is because the right ovary and oviduct are present during the early embryonic development in birds. But the symmetrical migration of precursor germ cells to the left ovary ultimately results in the regression of the right ovary in most species. It is typical that 200 to 500 ova are ovulated during the life of most domesticated birds. The ovum is carried away down to the left oviduct by peristaltic contractions. The oviduct can be subdivided into five functional regions, beginning with the ovarian end and extending to the cloaca. They are the infundibulum, magnum, isthmus, uterus or shell gland, and the vagina. Infundibulum is the funnel-shaped end of the oviduct that engulfs the ovum, preventing it from falling into the body cavity. Fertilization takes place here and the first layer of albumin is added. It is assumed that the spermatozoa would not be able to penetrate the oocyte after it begins to, to be covered by the albumin. The magnum is the largest and most glandular part of the oviduct. The majority of the albumin is added here. In the isthmus, the walls consist of a thick layer of circular muscle. Inner and outer shell membranes are formed here. Next to the isthmus is the shell gland or uterus. The walls consist of a longitudinal muscle lined with goblet cells. The egg takes up salt and water into the albumen and the shell membranes become calcified. Calcification occurs about 15 hours and the pigmentation is added during the final 5 hours. The completed egg passes through the sphincter muscle into the vagina and then into the outside via the cloaca. The uterovaginal sphincter, a constricting muscle, is the dividing point between the uterus and vagina. The vagina has no role in formation of the egg, but in coordination with the shell gland, participates in the expulsion of the egg. The cloaca is divided into three compartments, the copradium, urodium, and proctodium. For anyone interested in raising chickens for eggs, whether for eating or incubation, an understanding of the female avian reproductive system is essential for recognizing problems that may occur and taking action to them to correct them.